1954, the voyage home takes the crew of the Starship Enterprise from the 23rd century to our own time. Judging by the pollution content of the atmosphere, I believe we have arrived at the latter half of the 20th century. As they attempt to save the world from destruction, the crew has to learn their way around pizza and beer, money, and our backward technology. But otherwise, nothing has changed. Spock is Spock, Bones is Bones, and Kirk is Kirk. It's a miracle these people ever got out of the 20th century. They're still using money. We've got to find some. Spock, the rest of you stay here. And the rest of you break up. You look like a cadet review. Let's face it, we might love them, but the Star Trek actors are a bunch of stiffs. Except for Shatner, who does the acting for the whole crew. He knows he's better than this, but he enjoys himself anyway, particularly at the expense of Mr. Spock. He may be the straightest straight man around. Am I stopping that damn noise? of language has altered since our arrival. It is currently laced with, shall I say, more colorful metaphors. Double dumbass on you, and so forth. You mean the profanity? Yes. That's simply the way they talk here. Nobody pays any attention to you unless you swear every other word. You'll find it in all the literature of the period. For example? Well, the collected works of Jack and Suzanne. The novels are Harold Robbins. Ah. The Giants. The fondness you have for these guys before the movie begins carries you right through to the end. Star Trek IV is funny and warm, and considering what a Star Trek movie could have been, and has been, that's saying a lot.